In January 2023, I get the crazy idea to load my motorcycle up with camping gear and drive into Mexico. With no real destination in mind except to travel the Baja Peninsula, I headed south on a journey that would take me over 600 miles into a foreign country before eventually turning around at the small town of San Ignacio about halfway down the peninsula. While the Baja is generally considered one of the safer areas of travel in Mexico, the U.S. Embassy still advises to reconsider travel to the region. The videos that you will see were shot during my eight days of travel and will show all my experiences, the ins and outs of travel as I saw them on the Baja Peninsula, including the amazing scenery, the challenges that I faced, and eventually why I decided the experience overall just wasn't for me, turned around and came home. You yourself may love it. Do your own research, make your own plans, travel your own journey. Thanks for joining me. In the last video, I explored the mission in San Ignacio before departing and starting my journey back north, where I passed through yet again more military checkpoints before eventually returning to the Sea of Cortez and spending the night at Campo Papa Fernandez. Day 8 picks up where that left off. Good morning, everyone. Beautiful sunrise coming up over the Sea of Cortez behind me there. It is the beginning of day 7. Just got up here at Papa Fernandez Camp, where I've spent the night for 100 pesos, approximately 5 US. Gonna make me some tea, have some breakfast, pack up, continue working on back towards home. The goal today is to get, I think, back to Campo Salina, I've decided. That's where I spent my first night on the way down. It's quite a long drive but it's very doable in the day time-wise. It's just, I get tired of driving, so I'm gonna get an early start, allow me plenty of time for some breaks, and... I'm here in San Felipe at 7-Eleven. Got me some more water, some gas at the Chevron. Talked to some Americans here that are headed down. They said you don't need that immigration form anymore and I shouldn't have any problems getting back into the US. So that makes me feel a lot better. Um, hopefully that turns out to be the case. I have no reason to doubt them. They said they cross all the time. You don't need it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna run up. Uh, Gotta go north towards Mexicali a little ways and then cut back east below it, back south to the Gulf, and eventually get over to Campo Salina on the Gulf there. Stop and eat me some lunch along the way. It's not quite lunchtime. I think I'm gonna stop at that restaurant that I ate on the way down. It was very good. I know it's safe. Uh, and knock on wood, but I've been fine with everything so far. It's nothing has caused me any issues digestion-wise, so gonna get out of here put some more miles on it 192 to go we'll see you in a bit Hello. keep going
If you watched day two of my trip, you might recall this restaurant I ate here on the way down. So I decided to go ahead and stop here on the way back because I knew it was a pretty good place to eat. A very refilled spray. And again, I ordered the same thing, not getting too adventurous. The beef quesadilla it was about $11, including my drink and my tip. Highly recommend it if you're passing through. They also have great Wi-Fi. Keep going. Crosses. Crosses. Hola. Hola. Hola, español. No, not very much. Viene grabando. Uh, GoPro? Uh, what about it? Grabando. Grabando. Uh, I'm headed to uh, Puerto Penasco from San Felipe. Puerto Penasco? Puerto Penasco, yes. Rocky Point. Gracias. Hola, senor. Hola, what's happening? You remember me? Go. Yeah. yeah. To uh, San Ignacio. San Ignacio. Yeah, San sí, Ignacio. San Ignacio. Yeah. I know San Ignacio. See. Sí. See. Sí. Yeah. Oh. Headed home. But it's too cold. Too cold? Yeah. Yeah, it's not very warm, is it? <laughs> Well, you, you know, you, you know cold because... Yeah, I got lots yeah. of clothes on. <laughs> you know that, you know the lechuga? Uh, say what? Lechuga. What is in English, lechuga? Um, I don't know, let me see. <laughs> lechuga. Lechuga. Uh, how do you spell? How do you spell it? <laughs> People don't know. How do you spell? Mm. Le uh, eh, el no. Uh. You see lechuga? Lettuce. 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 Uh, because one, one, two, three. This is no. Uh, no cool. three, three yeah, layers. One, Two, three, yes, four. okay. <laughs> I'm following you now. Lechuga, that's the, that's lettuce. Lechuga, lettuce. Okay. Lettuce, okay. I'm learning new words every day. <laughs> uh, 
Two fifty for the room for one yeah. bed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that again. But going to Peñasco or, or, or Rocky Point or, or more? Uh, Rocky Point and then north. Ah. Back to the U.S. Sonoita. Uh, Sonoita. Is that uh, Sonoita? To, to, to Gila Bend and Phoenix. And... Uh, yeah, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere up in there, I think. <laughs> where, where do you live? Well. That's complicated. Missouri. Missouri. Missouri in the, it's, in the it's middle. It's too far. It is a long ways. You're right. <laughs> and the so, motorcycle, Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> it's long ways. Do you have fifty or any change? Yeah. yeah. Huh? I don't. I don't have any more. No, it's okay. okay. That's fine. Yeah. If you've got it, if if you do, fine. If not, that's okay. Yeah. I, I, I... <laughs> You, you you know you you have you need in the kitchen go into the kitchen. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm but I appreciate that because you have the the little I, I know the, the, the stove. Little, yeah. No, it's it's good. Uh, I I think I'm just gonna have peanut butter and jelly tonight anyway. I just I just had lunch about an hour ago. Yeah. I've already I just ate. So. Okay, okay. Yes. But gracias. Okay. You have a, a, a camera, see? Yeah, I make video. Yeah? Yeah. Video. See? Video, be on YouTube. YouTube. You want, you have that? <laughs> oh, oh, two. Yeah, two. Yeah, I know. You got to get every direction, forward yeah. and backwards. And uh, yeah, see, like YouTube, you know, where you... See, yeah. This, uh -huh. do, you, uh, do you have this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's good, man. Good. Yeah, yeah. Gracias. Yeah. Back to Campo La Salina. I am for my last night here in Mexico. I suppose it's somewhat fitting that this trip ends sort of where it began here. Same deal, 250 pesos for the room. I, of course, <laughs> I made the mistake of giving a bunch of change at the grocery store, so I didn't have 250. The closest I had was 300. I'll be curious to see if I get my 50 pesos, but I mean, what does it really matter? It's uh, $2.50 to me. <laughs> it's, it's not going to make or break me, and I'm certainly not going to ask for it. Call it a tip at this point. Anyway, got to get off the bike. Going to take this walk out here that I took when I was here the first time. Out across the salt flats. Then I have the same rowdy dogs as usual. Same ones as last time. Tagging me the whole way, probably. Yep. Well, I'm probably going to leave it there. If you didn't see the first part where I did this walk and explained the things to you, well, go back and watch it, I guess. Don't need to repeat the whole thing. Just really need to get out, get some exercise. So one thing I haven't done much in this trip is really much exercise. I've done a lot of riding and I'd kind of like to do some more hiking. Unfortunately, the trail system down here, I just really couldn't find any hiking. I mean, there's a few little trails here and there, but I mean, the, the, there's not a trail network here like there is in a lot of places, at least for hiking anyway. And, but it's been fun. I'm going to enjoy my walk out here this evening, go back, make a light supper. Well, I've had a nice walk to the end of the trail, headed back. The evening will be fading away before too long. My phone says it's like five o'clock or something but i don't think the time zone ever updated that's going to do it for day eight be sure to stick around for the next video where we'll depart campo la salina take a quick trip through puerto panasco before heading back across the border and back home traveling 140 miles or 225 kilometers after that we'll have a sit down and talk about all my experiences thanks for joining me